Hey everybody, I'm Akasha Wolf, and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Manny Emue's new palette, the Greek Goddess palette uh, for his holiday collection, along with his lippies and his lip gloss. I did not pick up the highlighter, I just only picked this up. I got this today. So before we get into the video and I do this look that I just did, I wanted to go over to over real quick my experience with purchasing from Manny because this was my very first time. And I just want to kind of give those of you who don't know or haven't purchased from him before an idea of what you're going to be going through with this. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up too is because I have recently been purchasing from Jeffree Star. I have followed Jeffree Star for a long time and I love his stuff, I love his work, I love his product. It's just one of those things I've always loved but couldn't afford and I've finally been able to and I, my first thing that I purchased was his Alien collection or his holiday collection with his Alien palette and everything and I purchased that and I'm going to be doing a video on that but I waited because I wanted to receive my mystery box and I did order a mystery box and I also have his um, Northern Lights you know uh, Supreme Frost palette coming and I'm bringing this up it has nothing to do with the whole thing between him and Manny and everything like that this is all to do with purchasing being a, con a consumer you know what I mean that's what all this is about and that's why I'm bringing it up and when he did his first release of course, all this is for the holidays and it's around Christmas time, so you expect things to get backed up. When I ordered his Alien palette, it took um, about a week and a half for me to receive, and that was actually really good in the sense that he had, he, where he's from and everything, there was the California fires, and I understood that. I had no issue with that, so that wasn't a big deal, but it has been probably two weeks or more since I've received anything on the mystery box and the mystery box I'm gonna get into more details I need to stop honestly because this we're talking about Manny stuff so I'm gonna get into more details when I receive my mystery box and my other highlighter point is is it took a freaking long time and I'm going to go into details about that in another video but I'm honestly like, I don't feel good about ordering things from Jeffree's site because it takes so long, like a long time. And the reason why I brought it up with Jeffree stuff and this is because the day this released, he hit, uh, Manny did a video and he says that it's out right now. So once he was doing his video, I'm like, eh, I don't think I want it, like, but it's not really inspiring inside, but then I got to look at it more and I really liked it. Um, I purchased it, and the following day, which is when Jeffrey's Northern Lights palette released, I received my shipping information that it's already been shipped and it's on its way. <sighs> I was so upset <laughs> because I've ordered so much crap since I've ordered my mystery box, and I've, I've only today received shipping information on it. And this arrived today. It only took me like two, maybe three days to receive this, and I still haven't received my mystery box. Like I literally just got the shipping information today. And that's why I'm bringing this up, because I feel like things like that is very important to know. The thing about Jeffrey is a lot of his products are in Morphe stores and everything, so if you want to, you could wait till it releases into the stores before you go pick it up. He also has other retailers that hold his stuff and they get it to you a lot faster. It's just something to think about when you go to order from Jeffrey's website. So as of this moment, ordering from Manny, I have I know he's an, he's a new brand. It, this is all new and he doesn't have as many people buying his stuff. But it seems like that his shipping stuff, he's got that really put together. And I feel like Jeffrey's been around for a very, you know, not a very long time, but a long time. And I would think that he would have a little bit more of a set process to make this go by faster, especially knowing that he has so many people buying his stuff. And I've ordered three different times from Lime Crime, and I've received all three orders. And it, I've ordered everything after I've ordered that mystery box and I still haven't gotten that box and 
I've ordered like three orders from Lime Carmen and I, since then and I've still gotten it before that. And I ordered this the day his highlighters released and I got this before my mystery box even got my shipping label. Like that's insane to me. But yeah you guys, I'm so sorry that that was like a rant and everything. I just want you to know that if you do purchase from Manny, you're going to be receiving your, your stuff in a good amount of time and yeah. So let's get started, let's get into this video and get this look done. Alright everybody, so I'm getting ready to get to work. I have my base on. I don't really wear foundation but <laughs> I do wear like a crap ton of concealer like under here and then I put setting powder and contour on. And then I did my brows and then I put um, Tarte Shape Tape on my lids and then I set it with some Derma Blend. And the reason why I did that is because that I'm aware of the colors that's in this palette. I know that I'm probably not going to be using like a crop top shimmers or whatever. But whatever, I'm rambling. So, this is going to be me opening the box for the first time. I just received it. I came in, I did my base and everything got ready. And I'm opening this for the first time. So this reaction is going to be genuine. I ordered his eyeshadow palette and his all of his lipsticks. And so that means lipsticks and the lip glosses. And I did that because I was not interested in his highlighter. Like the money I would have spent on that, I planned on using for Jeffree stuff. And yeah. But um, what you'll see, what I'm sure you've already saw is my little rant about what's going on with my Jeffree products, which I'm super upset about. But I'm gonna try not to be, but like, whatever. So I really like the black box. I've never ordered from Manny before. I'm not necessarily like super duper familiar with his work and I'm not necessarily like his super fan or anything like that. Um, I know about all like shady drama stuff that's been going on. The only reason why I know who Manny is is because of Jeffrey and because of Rich Lux. Which Rich Lux, I've been watching him for a long time because he's super just entertaining and Jeffrey I've been following for a while. And I've known about Jeffrey before like a lot of makeup gurus that I've just been recently finding out about. But as I open it, it's very nice and clean. I really love the whole Lunar Beauty thing. I love moons, I love crescent moons. You know, I'm super witchy. For those of you who know, I have a YouTube channel where I teach witchcraft and stuff like that. So this is very much my vibe, especially the black and everything. So everything seems to be packaged really well. I did receive this like in really good time, which I already told you about that, I think. <laughs> and so here are the lips. They are so pretty. I love this packaging. I love the weight. The packaging, I'm not, I'm not super into gold. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not super into gold. I prefer silver over gold, and I love black over white, but I love black and white, you know what I mean? But the whole theme, the Greek goddess thing, it really called to me because I was super into all that stuff. And just the way his palette looked, like literally the first thing was his packaging. And I know you shouldn't want to buy anything for his, for their packaging, but this packaging is just so freaking nice. Like I give it to him, like I might not be super big into his work and everything, but this is freaking great. So I noticed that the snake has a little red dot and everything. He put a lot of great detail into this. This to me is just like a collectible. Like it's a thing you want to have because it's just freaking amazing. So this one is Celine and that's the lip gloss. And then this one's the liquid lip. It's Aphrodite, love Aphrodite. And this one's Zaya and it's the other liquid lip. We'll get into those in a second. First thing we're gonna do is the eyeshadow palette. So he's got this little card up in here, it's very nice. Love the whole picture thing he's got going on. The complete set. And um, I didn't buy his highlighter set because I wasn't too into it and then I was using the money basically towards Jeffree Star's Northern Lights palette, which I want more. So that's why I didn't get that one. And of course, you know, it's the white and gold. I prefer like the black and gold. I'm just being, you know, nitpicky when it comes to just that. But um, 
Again, very nice packaging. Wrapped up really pretty. Almost dropped it. And then here is the outside packaging for his Greek Goddess palette. I'm going to throw this away because I'm not interested in this little box here. You, like, I might keep the lip ones, but I'm not going to keep this one. Oh my god, I just love this. So, inside, I'm going to point this out real quick, but inside it has like a cushion that is glued into the packaging, which I really think is super awesome because of store, like sending it and everything. And this is so pretty. I don't know how, like I love, I love the look of Medusa. And her story is very sad. Like, uh, ooh, wait, I shouldn't have looked in there. Like uh, she was raped, I believe, in, I think it was, Athena's temple by Zeus. He thought like she was super beautiful. She was supposed to remain pure and in the temple is where she was raped, which <sighs> Athena didn't like that very much and she felt like it was desecration to the temple. And I hope I don't get demonetized for this, even though these videos aren't even monetized. Like I'm even making money off of this, but um, because of bringing up that word, but that had happened to her and then to punish her, even though it wasn't necessarily her fault for what had happened, they, Athena turned her into this monster, um, I believe it's called like a Gorgon or something like that, um, Medusa. So whenever she would look at a man, she, or anybody for that matter, they would turn to stone. Now this packaging is so absolutely luxurious. I did order my first ever palette from Jeffrey was the Alien palette and that quality I've never felt anything like that because most of my stuff for the longest time was always drugstore products and that was my first time ever getting something so nice. I've gotten from Morphe that one time which was the vault collection. I'll probably tell like my whole makeup story and everything but this is extremely extremely pretty and luxurious. I love this so much. The, it's so soft, like, it's almost like velvet. It's weird. It's so soft, it's got some nice weight, and not like super weight, but a little bit, and it's, it's just quality, it feels like quality. And this mirror, oh my goodness, the size of this mirror is so awesome. I love this so much. I would constantly um, grab, this palette and like one other palette and I would use it for when I did my makeup like I would always have it for when I'm putting on my makeup and I don't have one of those regular handheld mirrors I will just use one from a palette I think this is going to be my new go-to freaking mirror when it comes to applying my makeup and stuff now when I first saw this palette when I first saw him opening it Mine's a little messy. Like there's like dusties and stuff everywhere. When I first saw this, I was so uninspired. I'm like, that is boring. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm I'm probably not gonna buy it because of the packaging. I'm just not into it. Like I'm not into the colors. I just love the packaging. But then when I really got to think about it and I got to look at it a little bit more in his video, I could see this being a palette that I would use all the time because it's got a lot of really great transition colors and base colors and it's, it's a little normal for me because I really love playing with colors and everything, but it's a very nice palette and I do feel like that even though at first when I looked at it I wasn't inspired that now that I have it and that I've got to look at it more, I will be creating a lot of stuff with this. And I think that it would honestly be a favorite of mine. And if you guys want any updates or anything and also see more looks even after the one I'm about to do right now, just, you know, let me know down in the comments below. And you can also check out my Instagram because that's where I usually post stuff up. But, yeah, mine's messy. This feels really nice, but I do feel like that this is probably going to start peeling apart because of the way that they had put it on here, but I don't know, we'll see how long it lasts. I think if I'm going to swatch anything, which I'm probably going to end up using this color anyway, it's going to be, uh, I can't even say that one, I don't know how to say it. Ooh, it's so soft. So I grabbed this one right here, 
and I barely touched it and it's actually coming off really nice and easy and I'm about to swatch it really quick right here we'll see how that goes hmm. it applied not too bad this is a really dark color so that's one of those ones I would kind of see possibly giving, giving a little bit of a hard time and maybe some patchiness or whatever but it actually looks really nice this blue I think it's Nemesis oh my god yes I am going to be using that today alright so I think I'm just gonna dip right in here and get started on a look so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do here it's difficult because it's like very on the spot but we'll see we'll see the brushes I'm using today are all Morphe brushes I just got these and I love them so much I would get my brushes from China on like Aliexpress and stuff like that because I had no monies but now I'm making you know some cash here and there and I'm spending it on things I really like and Morphe is affordable and actually decent actually great quality <laughs> I can't say decent I really love it all right so I have some light staining right here that you might be able to see peeking through and that is um, from Jeffrey's Alien Palette. It's from that purple color. I forget what it was called. I think it was Area 51. Um, it's like a pressed pigment and it's stained my eyelids pretty good. I did a look yesterday with it and I just love that one. That one's like one of my favorites to use. I've used it like a lot. I'm going to be going in with Aphrodite right here. I'm going in with Aphrodite and I'm going to be like first thing I'm gonna say is that you barely have to tap into this it's extremely loose it's just like Jeffrey's palette his um you barely have to touch your brush to the color at all because it just starts like there's like a lot of fallout but it's not a bad thing it's like you get a crap ton of product without too much pressure so I'm just going to go right out here on the edge and I'm going to try to shape it a little bit hopefully I'm going to be able to do a successful look on camera And then I'm going back in with Aphrodite and I'm going to put it right here. Barely tapping it because you don't need to go too crazy with this, honestly. Mm -hmm. So I just got my hair done. So it looks a little weird for me. Like, because I had uh, dark roots and I had like a ombre. For a good while I used to always be all over blonde silver gray for like years and I've even had my videos too like for a long time this is what, how my hair has been but now I went from the ombre stuff by a lot by a lot I can't say a word I don't know guy king does it to hair all the time so I had it like that for the longest time and this is me going back which sucks for my hairdresser who's my friend because it's hard to work this out which you can see I have like brassiness right in the midsection because of, of color being there previously. Alright, so I'm going to do this to the other side. Alright you guys, so I know it looks like uneven and everything. I'm going to do some fine tuning. I just lost my brush. <clears throat> That's what I'm like looking down talking to you guys. What the crap? Oh, that's fine. Never mind. So I know I'm going to have to do some fine tuning and everything. Um, but what I can say so far, I'm so absolutely satisfied <laughs> with this so much like there is no freaking dragging or patchiness happening at all with this color it is applying so freaking nice i'm i'm so happy like honestly 
I already used one freaking color and I am so excited about this. I think that this moment alone, dipping into Aphrodite, has made me want to explore Manny's brand a lot more. It makes me want to buy more of his stuff. Like, I'm the type of person that once I try something and I like it, I am loyal as frick. I will constantly be there ready to go for your new launches if I'm excited about them, of course. And I am ready <laughs> and I'm gonna buy it. And that's how I feel about this. This is, this has basically made me super passionate about his brand. Like, this is amazing. I am so freaking happy about this. Um, so let me shut up now. And I think I'm going to be going in with this dark color here that I just had dipped in. I'm not gonna try to say this word right now. It's like, Calipo, I don't know. I tried. I know most of this stuff, but then that one is just one of them I don't. So I'm applying it into the same kind of area here, making it a little bit dark. I'm a little scared with this color because it is so dark. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get it to blend out nice. I might have to go back in with Aphrodite to fix this up because when a color is this dark, they tend to do the whole dragging thing and they don't want to go anywhere and they get patchy. But it looks like it's doing pretty good. So I'm trying to finish it. Move it up a little bit. Because I don't want to completely lose Aphrodite in this. And I also don't want to go too crazy because this is like super pigmented and I think it can easily take everything over. I'm using the same brush that I was using earlier. It has no name on it. Like, you know how there's like Morphe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever the frick numbers they have on it. This one came in the like $25 eyeshadow set. I'm pretty freaking sure. Do I have? Yeah, like this one's like an M518. This one has no number on it. So, the one with the almost smally tip. This is the same brush I used for Aphrodite to apply it. And I'm gonna work it like that. I'm gonna clean this up, you guys. Oh, don't, don't feel bad, but yeah, your makeup's ugly. Sometimes it is, though. There's no shame in that. I have bad makeup days. So I'm doing the same thing here, and the almost inner corner, but not all the way. Just like, you know, pretty close. Hopefully you can see that. You might see like the light freaking change constantly because I'm right next to a little window and it's being like temperamental, like clouds are going from the sun, so they're not. But <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing to my other Oho and we're gonna try to figure this out. I think I know what I'm doing next. I think I'm going to be blending a little bit of Cleo and the color right next to the really dark color. Cause I'm not reading anything right now because if I do, it's gonna sound dumb, but whatever, I guess. All right, so let's see how well this works out. Ooh. I was like, what the frick did I put together again? <laughs> So I was looking at the slightler, the slightler, slighter orangey colors, but I'm like, nah, I don't want to go too crazy with that. But it looks like it's blending out pretty nice. Super excited about this. I really love the way that this ended up working out, but I feel like you could easily go a little too crazy with it. Like if you are not freaking careful, it will make a huge mess and for those of us who don't have amazingly large eyelids, like where you have so much freaking space to work on, like I, my eyelids are kind of teeny tiny and my brows are very close to like my lash line and crap. 
and I have like no forehead. If I wanted to show off my eyebrows and try to put them higher, it just wouldn't work. I look, I barely have a forehead. So I don't have a lot to work with. And if I have too much of a dark color, it's going to go all over the place and make the biggest mess. So for those of us with that problem, be very, very light handed with this and just build and just slightly just build little by little to it because it can easily get out of hand and I think completely mess up your look. But I think Aphrodite is blending out from this so nicely. It This is <laughs> so easy to use. I love this so much. I love it. I'm so glad I bought this. Like I'm so glad I decided to kind of really just get it mainly for the packaging. Um, be like, ah, oh, yeah, I can see myself using these. I'm super satisfied. I love this so much. So, if you guys want to keep watching, you're just here to find out if it's good or not. Like, just go buy it. I saw Manny's video pop up, and I'm like, holy crap! So he is doing a holiday collection because a lot of the holiday collections are already out. Like, I know that Laura Lee, who is someone I don't buy product from like I'm not interested in any of her palettes or anything she just, just doesn't really appeal to me it's nothing against her it's just I'm not I'm not into her and um, like it her stuff didn't call to me Jeffrey had his release I bought almost everything and um, I know James had released his palette I bought that one not as soon as it came out I bought it like when they did the second release and it was like at Morphe before the day he said that they would release it again. Um, I received like an email and then I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll go get it. Plus they also got Jeffrey's collection back over there and I was getting it for my mom for Christmas. So that's why I picked it up. So it actually put it out really nice. So use these two colors and it looks good. I like it. Mm -mm -mm. What? Is it even? I don't know. But I think I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more of the dark. Dark, dark for the brown or not. So cute. I love this. I love this so much. Like, good for you, Manny. You probably won't watch this video. But, it did. I really freaking like this palette and it is just my style even though this is like very Versace I can't afford Versace this is probably the closest I'm gonna get there so well maybe later maybe I can afford Versace later but would I buy it? I don't know probably because I'm Medusa on it she's a boss I love the way Medusa looks she's sick look yeah I'm actually super satisfied with how this is coming out. I don't know if it looks as good on camera, but it's looking really nice. And I'm so happy. This is fun, you guys. I've never done this before. Where I recorded this and, you know, stuff. Doing my makeup. This is freaking fun. I love it. So my plan is, for when I do my liner, to set the blue on top of it. But we have to do it like in the center or something on my liner. But this is what we got so far. Now let's get a nice shimmer and then lay it right down in the middle. Now I was kind of thinking about maybe just going in with my finger, but I think I'm just gonna lay some on top really quick and then probably do an extra little dab dot and it's not your stuff. Um, I'm getting Athena. Athena is one of my favorites even though she did what she did to um, Medusa because she's just a she's just a strong freaking goddess but um so I'm setting Athena right here in the center and I'm just kind of like you know working it up to here and stuff. You're probably like, why don't you get some concealer and like cut it out a little bit. Not today. Maybe another day. If 
but I just wanted it to be like a light and smooth. I didn't want it to be like super cut. I'm very surprised at how easy that this is setting down and it's still very shiny and shimmery because usually this is like a little, I guess you can say like it's not super dense and when it comes to applying shimmer like this isn't the number one thing I will go to to do that because I feel like I really need some shimmer to like pack on real good. But this is working. I love it. Now I'm gonna go in with my ring finger and just kind of lightly tap it here. Oh frick, no. <laughs> Not that ring finger, this is the little dark eye color ring finger. That would ruin everything. I can't believe I just almost did that. This ring finger. And then I'm gonna do the light little tap tap right in the center because whenever you use your finger to tap on shimmer. It just, it seems like it just looks better and it's way shinier. And this is coming out so good. I know you guys are like, no, it's not that great. But for me, I feel really good about it. Oh my goodness. I love this and it's so smooth. I'm mm, tuning some things up a little bit here and there. I'm probably gonna go back in with a little bit of these like Aphrodite and also the really dark color I was using because I noticed that the shimmer kind of took over the teeny tiny bit, especially with the little dark colors. Bring it in. Ooh, too much. Whoopsies. See, you really have to be careful with that dark color because it can easily <laughs> ruin everything. Look what I did. I just was complaining about, oh, be careful, it will ruin everything. And I just did it. And it's, it doesn't look the same now. I ruined it. <sighs> good job, good job. I'm going to get some, probably a little bit underneath my eye, down here. I'm just dragging a little bit of the color, which is in basically combination of these two, Aphrodite and that C-A-L-I-O-P-E color. And I'm dragging that down this way. Now I'm not going in heavy, dipping in directly to any of these. I used it from when I was tuning up my edges a little bit and then dragging it down because I don't want it to be super dark. So my camera was like, hurry up. So I'm going in with some eyeliner. I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Uh, I don't know which one's my new one. So I'm hoping like the camera isn't washing out everything because I feel like I just got a ring light and I think that maybe I still need to work on the way that the lighting is. So if this is a little bad, I'm sorry about that. But I will be having more pictures so we'll see this look a little bit better. So I applied some eyeliner and I really loved the black on it but then I decided that I was going to be going in with Nemesis and add it to my liner which on this side I did I had pressed some of Nemesis right on top of the liner that I applied and it's sitting really nice you can see it if you like if you turn your head a little bit you get like the bluishy green tone that's going on with this shimmer it's super pretty so now I'm applying it right here on to this one and I feel like with this one you can be a little bit heavy because it does a good bit does come off when you do go like this but it's not as messy as some of these other colors and I am having some fall onto my face a little bit that's also because I was going in a little heavy I'm bringing it from the wing to about the middle about here so that way it remains black right here near the inner corner so I still have glitter now from that falling onto my face I can see it it's going to stress me out later I'm trying not to think about it but I'm going to be getting Athena and another brush if find the one I was going to use. 
This one is another unnamed Morphe brush that I got in the one little set. And I'm going to take that into my little inner corner right here to just bring some light in. Some nice little highlight. See? And then I'm going to apply some lashes. Alright you guys, so I just applied my lashes and I feel like it really completes the look. I'm like super happy with it. I love how it came out. So now let's test out the lips. So this one is Celine. It's a lip gloss and I don't plan on keeping this one because I know someone who would really love this and they're going to end up getting it. But look at this packaging. This is so pretty. I love this. Um, for me, liquid lipsticks are my thing. I freaking love them. I'll probably post a picture on Instagram later of how many liquid lipsticks I have. I am super obsessed with them. And this packaging I really, really like. I hope, I heard, I heard him say that he is not going to keep this. This is only just for the holiday collection that he released. And he's got that little diamond right there, which I really love. I hope that he does. He says he's not doing the spray on gold. He's doing something else. I'm honestly hoping that it is a black or even silver, preferably black with that nice white little diamond right there. I think that would be really nice, especially for his Lunar Beauty vibe thing that he has going on. Well, Lunar Beauty is called Lunar Beauty, but his, his like, I guess his moon vibe, I think it would suit very well. But I am going to open this and give a quick little swatch onto my hand on a clean surface. So here we go, and it's actually very pretty. And he says something that he really likes about his lip gloss is that it is not super sticky, which this is really pretty. I have to admit, honestly, I would probably like to keep it, but I think at the end of the day, I wouldn't use it and it would be stupid for me to keep. The wand is actually very thick than most of the ones I have seen. The applicator is like a very flat doe foot and kind of square at the top. It doesn't come to a point or a complete round. It's more square and slightly round, but more on the square side at the tip. Kind of being, you know, it's like a triangle. No, not a triangle, what the frick? <laughs> a rectangle, but you know what I'm saying. So it's a very nice packaging and I think the color is very nice. And if it is, if, see, I know what he's saying that it's not super sticky, but let me see. It's like, it is very smooth. And it is not super sticky. So because of that is why I am not keeping this. This is going to be for someone who I know will very much appreciate how this is. And I'll update you guys later on how they feel about it. But it has a little gold flex. It's very peachy in color, like a pale peach. Very pretty though. I love it a lot. And it is the way that he said it is. It's not super sticky or anything like that. But what I will be trying out and trying on and swatching for you guys is the liquid lips. And the first one is Aphrodite. Oh, I tore the box. Oh no. It's Aphro what color is Aphrodite? Oh, it's the super red. All right, so I'm probably gonna do the super red one first. All right, so the applicator here is very different from his lip gloss. The wand is a lot thinner than his wand in his lip gloss. The doe foot comes at an angle and it actually looks very nice. I really, really like this doe foot so far. So, oops, I have a little bit of the lip gloss. Yeah. Sorry if my lips aren't super cute right now, but. Uh, it's very like liquidy in a sense. Like it's not thick. There's some liquid lips that I have that are pretty thick. And this is a very light and thin. And 
watering. So I'm gonna let this dry down and let you guys know how I feel about it. But so far applying it, it feels so nice. I love this a lot actually on how well it applies. This feels extremely soft, but it doesn't feel like it has dried down at all. So I'm confused. This is Aphrodite. I don't know if he said that this doesn't dry down at all. Liquid lipstick. So, it doesn't dry down. <laughs> it's comfortable, it's light, it's thin. If it's a lipstick, I'm probably not gonna wear it that often because something that I love about the liquid to matte lipstick is the fact that it's not gonna go anywhere and I'm not gonna make a mess. Like, I don't have time to deal with that because it's just, it's just not for me. That's just doesn't work for me. It sticks really well from what I can see on my hand. See, now I'm stained. Um, so now I'm just going to take this off and put on another one. Oh man, it's a mess up my makeup. So I just removed it, I used the lip scrub really quick, and now I'm going to be applying Zaya. And this is probably the color I'm going to be wearing. It is more of a brown, I thought it was going to be more on the pink side. But again, same applicator and the thinner wand, which is actually like, it's clear, like Jeffries, because that's what I think of. This one is not as liquidy as the red one. I think it's one of those colors I don't expect to like, but it's going to like grow on me. I don't own a color like this, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, you guys, there's that lip. I think this is the one I'm going to end up wearing. Honestly, I probably would prefer wearing the lip gloss, um, even though it's just not my thing. But I think I'm going to wear this one. I'm gonna do a wear it test. I'm going to wear it for all day at work and everything. I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. And basically, check in with you guys, let you know how I feel about it, and it's going to be in a vlog format. I get off work, I'm not, I don't want to set up everything and do a video. This palette, I highly recommend this palette. It's so freaking pretty, it's like luxurious feeling. The magnet is really nice. This is like very nice, very, very great quality. I love this so much. I didn't think I would be someone who would buy Manny stuff. I for sure am not a person who would buy Laura Lee stuff, just not into her, but Manny stuff, I love it. I love it a lot and I will be buying again, depending on if it calls me. Like I have to, you know, kind of want it for me to like pick it up and spend money on it because I'm buying this myself, so it's gonna be, you know. And this freaking mirror is literally the best. I love this mirror so much. I love look of this palette I thought if anything it would be like something I would have on display but I'm going to be using this I could see myself buying this again I hope he never gets rid of this because I do really love this and I feel like a lot of people out there are going to love it as well it blends really good it's very easy to work with and even if you can't create like a bunch of looks with that which I'm sure a lot of us out there who enjoy not super crazy makeup you can create a lot of looks with that and i just think that it it works for everybody my friend saw it i forgot to put on highlighter my friend saw it and she thought it was super pretty and i 
I love it. I love it a lot. I will probably buy this again. I love it that much. I'm about to pop on some highlighter real quick. But I do highly recommend this palette. I think you should buy it. The highlighters, you know, you won't be seeing that on my channel. He says that they're limited edition. They're not saying. So I would take that for what it is. If you're super interested in it, go for it. But if not, then just freaking leave it alone and don't pick it up. But the highlighters I wasn't super crazy about. And I, I'm not going to buy something I'm not going to use. I feel like I wouldn't use it because honestly, my absolute favorite highlighters, even though I'm using Jeffrey's, I feel like this formula is really dry and it just doesn't spread the way I want it to and it looks really good right now. Um, Lime Crime is my favorite. Whoopsies. Well, as you can see, I have like a really nice hole in that one. I don't know what it's called. Um, Celestial. One of my absolute favorites. I thought that Halo would be my favorite, but no. Celestial. So I'm about to pop this on right now. Let's just get to see this. A little bit right there. Like, I just barely have to dip my brush into the Celestial. And I barely have to put it on my cheek, and it's just there. Like, it's so pretty. And it's got a little purpley sheen. It's so pretty. I really hope you like this video, and I really hope you like this palette. I think you should pick it up. His shipping is really good. It was my first time purchasing from him. Um, I'll get into that more in another video, but like, buy this palette. It is really freaking nice. It's so worth it. It's so beautiful. It would be a good Christmas present too. For someone who you know doesn't really like wearing a bunch of crazy colors, this is perfect. Hey you guys, so this is the quick little video update slash vloggy kind of update. This is like the little wear test. So I just got back from work. I work like eight hours. So I've had this makeup on for eight hours. I've had this lipstick on for eight hours without no touch-ups. And it seems like it held up pretty well. You can see maybe a little bit off the edges, like right there and over here. Held up pretty well. It's not like a complete, it doesn't completely dry matte. Like as you can see, there's trans, like it dries matte, but like it doesn't dry down where it's, eh, my teeth look weird. Oh, uh, sorry. It doesn't dry down to the point of where it's not going to go anywhere. If you get too crazy, the stuff is going to come off. And But for like a lipstick, in a sense, it does really well. It lasts, you know, pretty long. I ate and I've had stuff to drink and everything. I know I probably look weird. I probably look like, ugh. And it's because I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm really, really tired. And this is my first day going to work with this hair. This is my first session. So as you can see, there's brassiness down here and that needs to get worked out because I had like a, a different little style in my hair and we got to work it out. Anyways, point is, this is how the eyeshadow looks. Hopefully you guys can see that. But that's how it has held up. I think I got some lash lifted a little bit. No, actually it's still there. Just sitting weird. But I actually really, really love this look and this eyeshadow. I kind of wish I went maybe a little bit higher with the eyeshadow. And it held up pretty well, I think. Yeah. Look at that. Yay. It's cute. I love it. I love the palette. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And I think that I will probably very much, more than likely, be purchasing from Manny again. As long as he keeps up the good work with his formula and everything, I think I will be a dedicated a dedi the dedicated customer. I'm tired, okay? And I, I highly, highly recommend it. But, uh, yeah, you guys, I'm so tired. If you want to see more looks, look on Instagram. I'm going to be posting a couple from all the different palettes I've purchased. I try to use each palette for about like a week straight, 
or at least until I have touched every single eyeshadow in that palette. But I create looks all the time and I, I take pictures of them. I just haven't posted them yet because I want them to go with the videos. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So I hope you enjoy that video. Uh, I haven't been on YouTube in a while. I'm back now. Let me know what you think about this. Give me a like or comment. Give me some suggestions. Maybe some palettes you might want me to try out. Just let me know down below. Um, please subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.